On today's episode of Watch Jericho, we are back with my 05 Honda Civic to hopefully fix an exhaust leak. What is going on guys? I am Watch Jericho and today we are here with the 05 Honda Civic I bought. It was abandoned in a church parking lot for years and I picked it up for just $500. Now we've got the speed uh, sender, the you know vehicle speed sensor itself. Replace that. Speedometer's fixed. Transmission's working great. Today, I'm just gonna take you guys' word for it. All the comments said it's a cracked exhaust manifold because the cat is in it. So I didn't didn't even look. I was just like, you know, seems very plausible. We're gonna order one. Also, the uh, exhaust manifold was like $150 with the cat in it. I think the factory cat might sell for more. So this might be a free repair. And if nothing else, it's definitely gonna be an almost break even repair. So I am gonna try to take that one after we're done and sell it uh, because obviously the cat material itself is worth some money. And Josh and I were talking about it and we think there could be big business in swapping Honda Civics to aftermarket cats and selling the factory ones and making bank. Yep, yep. It's, a, it's a free money making operation. It's a self looking ice cream cone. That's right, so flicking ice cream cut. Oh man. So uh, I'm gonna drive this thing over to the lift. I've got a box over there with the new cat in it and we're gonna swap this thing out. It looks like about six bolts, a donut and a gasket. But of course, as you guys know, all of those bolts are probably gonna break. So we'll see. All right, check this thing out. That new headliner one more time. Ooh, no more sag. You can definitely hear that exhaust leak from uh, really anywhere you are. It's so loud. I haven't found the crack, but we're here to find it today. It's over here somewhere. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say this has been uh, part before because that fastener is Allen. That faster looks like an 11. Those fasteners look like tins. Uh, probably been worked on. Let's tear it down. So here's our new part. We're using that as our instructions on how to take this thing off. It looks like the uh, post cat O2 and the pre cat O2 both need to come out first. And then uh, two bolts there and uh, six more bolts or something like that. Car's already on the lift. So we're gonna pull off these bottom two bolts that hold the actual exhaust pipe onto the manifold. It's got a little donut in there. So. Slight chance this might explode. Slight chance we just drop it on the ground. And now nothing is holding the exhaust pipe. I did pre-soak all this with uh, knocker loose just a second ago. So that's why it's coming apart very well. Hey, look at that. Well, wouldn't you know it, I need my O2 sensor socket set. It's on my house. So I'm at a stopping point until I can get it because you have to get one O2 from the bottom and the other one is inside the heat shield. So it doesn't really work without a socket set. You can't use a wrench and you can't use a crescent wrench, uh, the usual O2 sensor removal methods. So I'm heading back to my house to pick up the socket set and then we'll continue getting this thing apart. And we are back now with more sockets. So I think it's this one here. A little bit of a tricky angle to actually hit this sensor. It is that one. All right, let me grab an extension and I will pop those loose, hopefully. Uh, I think they'll probably come off, but you never know. I'll take things that never happen for 200, Alex. The O2 sensor came immediately loose and it's uh, hand tight. So I just need to unscrew it and then go do the top one. I can only assume it's because I soaked these bungs and the sensors with knocker loose before I left and it sat there and dried, and both of these just popped loose instantly. The least amount of work I've ever had to do to get O2 sensors out. Ooh wee, that's uh, looking a little rough there.
that you guys were not kidding, take a look at this exhaust manifold. That is one serious crack. And it's completely cracked all the way around the bottom. I know it's hard to see that thing. But the crack starts here and continues the entire bottom half. It was just a bad weld all along. So we have the new cat here. I'm gonna swap these out real quick and we should be right back on the road. And even better, the old exhaust gasket is one of those graphite ones. The new one is a steel gasket, which should be way better. And it came with all new bolts to uh, fix the nonsense that had been done on this one here. The internet disagrees on the exhaust manifold torque spec, so I'm gonna set this to 25, 6, 26. Uh, some people say it's 33, some people say it's 22, and instead of doing it wrong, why don't we just go in the middle? It's definitely not very tight, just enough to crush this gasket. So, we'll uh, tighten these evenly for a minute. There we go. Beep. Okay, other side. We'll probably just go back in the middle, huh? And the fun part is you have to put the heat shield on so you can put the top bolts in. So you like depend on these because the heat shield covers those bolts. That seems like a really bad design if you're trying to torque something evenly, you know? Oh. You like hope that this is everything. Okay, here we go. Boom. All right, time for the heat shield and then I can finally reinstall the rest of the bolts here. Yeah, basically ready to roll. We should start it up open header like this, don't you think? Uh, zero percent. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> it's so much fun. Because it's going to sound like someone farted in a bowl of pudding. All right, let's test that uh, theory. It won't even be mad because the O2s are just gone. I guess it didn't sound as bad as I thought it was going to. I only gave it like 2,000 RPM, maybe. <laughs> Can you imagine that at full tilt? No. Oh man, it would be so So loud. someone needs to make a test pipe that just screws on there. <laughs> Comes out through the hood. You unscrew the O2, <laughs> and that's how you get your Honda exhaust straight up the hood. Yep. I bet it would shoot fire, which would be sweet. We are about to have a feast. Detail dudes went and got Chipotle, setting up tables. Oh man, we're gonna have chairs. Because you know, you know what's up, Apple event about to start. So I should have this wrapped up about the time this starts. We've got about five, ten minutes left. Three minutes left. Yeah, we have that many minutes. All right, new exhaust manifold installed, O2 sensors all hooked back up, everything torqued to spec. Now, the heat shield didn't exactly fit on the new one, so I had to do a little clearancing. If you look, you see those little notches. I uh, just took the large pry bar and the large hammer Gave it a little couple hits because the socket for the O2 sensor wouldn't go on with that new heat shield. So a little bit unfortunate switching to the cheaper part fitment, a little worse, but we got it done and everything's back together. So let's start it up for the first time and see if there's exhaust leaks. Also, uh, I'm, you know, 99% sure we're done. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the lift all the way. And after that, the only thing left here is fixing the AC. And I hope it just needs charged. Here we go. Perfectly quiet. That's all I could ask for, man. That's that's amazing. This Honda is basically ready to go down the road. Uh, I'm gonna flip the AC on. Will you listen for the click? Yep. Click, click. No click. I wonder if it's uh, this side being attacked. So we've been over here trying to troubleshoot the AC system and uh, the pressures look okay. So if you look deep down inside, deep, we gotta make this thing focus. Here we go, we're going in, going all the way in. You see that yellow boot right there. That 
appears to go to the AC compressor clutch. So what I'm gonna do is wait for this to cool down for a minute and then try to reseat that connector. I'm probably gonna take it apart. And uh, if it'll snap back in, that might be the culprit. It sure looks to be the culprit. So uh, we're gonna give this car a minute to cool back off because it ran for like five minutes. You can see we've already changed the color of the manifold and uh, try again. I pushed the pin back in. Let's test. I think it works. Yeah. It's definitely squeaking. Yeah, and the belt started screaming. Oh, I can feel it. Yep. Yeah, ice cold AC. <laughs> <laughs> well, that cost me zero dollars. Just one burned hand, so I guess we'll just count that as zero dollars. Hands are free. Hands are free. Those are cheap. You were born with those. <laughs> oh, man. You can't write it off on your taxes. It doesn't count. It's a loss. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. The $500 Honda is completely fixed for $92 plus about $150 for that header. And I'm still going to return the old one because it's got a good cat in it. The catalyst material looks good and uh, hopefully get my 150 back. So $592 was the total cost to fix this thing. Oh yeah, my CD, it's Taylor Swift yeah, reputation. Swift. Oh yeah, 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 get all Swifty. <laughs> that came with the car. And now I think it's just time to go drive it around. Oh, we have to make a parts run. Should we just take it? Yeah, parts car now. Parts car. Taking the Civic out for the first drive. No lights on the dash. Cold AC, probably ready for some fresh gas, that's for sure. Oh yeah, year old gas. Yeah, it's good old. Full tank though. Good old year old gas, oh yeah, yeah. So luckily we're gonna run some of it out right now. It'll take two months to empty. Yeah, it will, it'll never empty actually, it's on. Well, it drives just like you would expect. I don't have any thoughts to add to that. This is, uh, this is what you expect. <laughs> yep. I need to set the clock and away she goes. A little detail action. Throw away all these towels in the back. We're gonna put a few miles on it. Oops, forgot to shoot an outro for this. I sold that Honda the next morning. It went that fast. Um, I, I did pretty well on it. The Honda was a lot of fun. Now, back to the next flip or the S4. So uh, we got a lot coming up on the XC90, the free Volvo XC90, and a lot coming up on the Audi S4 from Car Track. Anyway, that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop watchjrgo.com where you get cool shirts, not like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I will talk to you next time. I'm trying to carry on the tradition, but I feel like Elliot knows. And every time I get close enough to do... Oh, yeah, there we go. He keeps moving forward. Let's see if I can push him. <laughs> Payback. That's uh, my bad. I think I might have touched your car. Do you need some insurance information? No, uh, he's not going to show a mark. He said it's guardrail with no damage. <laughs> I doubt an S4 is going to do anything. You're puny Audi. I bet you, I bet you got paint damage. I probably do.